Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let me do a quick review on a fragrance that I promised you that I was going to do today. Um, this fragrance is actually really pretty nice. And this is not my bottle. It's uh, borrowed from one of my brothers. He uh, like uh, requested me to, you know, not name him, <laughs> remain like uh, anonymous. So I'm going to keep his uh, request. And the fragrance I have for you today, it's uh, from the house of Costume Nation. National, I think that's how you say it. It's Soul. Okay, this fragrance, beautiful bottle. But unfortunately, I do not have the box because the day I took it from him, uh, he did not bring the box. He just wanted me to try it. So never mind. Hey, I will put a picture of the whole presentation in the thumbnail so you can see. So this is one fragrance that I have done. Uh, same house I did like last week or so. Costume National. Uh, um, not Soul. Um. So that was pretty spicy, sort of masculine uh, kind of a fragrance that is very. Uh, I, I liked it a lot, but I said uh, it's something similar to Bulgari Man in Black, Spice Bomb, that sort of a thing, but done better. So this is even better than that, okay? I told you, this is going to get better marks than that one. I tried them both long time ago, about like two months, three months ago, and I really liked it back then. Let me talk about this. So this fragrance, it comes in this bottle. It, it's a pretty nice looking bottle. It's very simplistic. I think this house is niche or design, I'm not quite sure. I I do not know, so I don't want to <laughs> make that, you know, conclusion. So it says Costume National and then Soul. Very nice orangey sort of licorice, not liquor sort of juice. Like it reminds me sort of like this, uh, my Yoke Wow, if you can see side by side, kind of like same orange sort of color, like orange brandy. So beautiful juice color. I really like it. Eye catching like uh, Mason Margiela's By the Fireplace, if you know that one. Yeah, similar juice color. It has sort of like concave sort of shape, nice sort of curve here really beautiful slick bottle and yeah the back so just like the costume national um this one that has very like a weird sort of cap i do not like this cap it's very tiny it's like the same size as the atomizer as you can see side by side and the cap it's kind of like dwarfy for a big bottle but it reminds me sort of the drones they used in iron man i think second or third part so the ones that were like automatic you know they were like controlled by you know like computer or something so they were having the body like this and the small head so yeah uh, that's pretty much the bottle basic uh, the bottom you're gonna get a sticker and batch core and everything so this fragrance i've been wearing in my hand for some time for review and the dry down it's there so this fragrance it's i i think this is more of a winter or nighttime sort of fragrance i think it will suit that sort of uh, time better and it's kind of like got the spices continuing from the um uh, so what I when I sprayed first time it really impressed me it's really beautiful and I'll show you another fragrance that I like in the same category to my nose it opens up really beautifully it has a sort of like a spicy masculine opening I think it has notes like cardamom pink pepper and uh, there's no citrus in this it's kind of like a spicy opening you know it's like sometimes think of a, uh, I don't think it's mentioned but I think it's kind of remind me of a I don't know another spice you know not just pink pepper it it smells like a, what is it turmeric i think it, it has sort of like that sort of feel to my nose but i don't think it's enlisted so it's pretty much like a spicy opening it's a masculine opening i don't think ladies would like to wear it if unless they like it strong okay so it's a very strong perfume lasting for is very impressive eight hours straight every time i wear it even in the hot summer's days it does last a long time but uh, i mean uh, it develops to be something else so the heart note you're gonna get i pick up kind of like they say oud and then the leather combo but i for some reason do not pick the oud from this and it's not as oud heavy or oud based sort of fragrance it stays masculine spicy and then the vanilla will pop up somewhere there so it becomes sort of like uh beautiful uh you can call it like a gourmand but it's not really gourmand it's kind of like a think of uh this fragrance uh I have it, you know, Isimia can warm break, but this is so good. This is like on different level. I mean, even though this one I paid a little bit less than what I think this one costs, I didn't pay for it because I didn't buy it obviously, but uh, this one is much more expensive or perhaps like very close, you know, like uh, I think compare wise, I think like price wise they're close, but what I'm trying to say is Noir Ambre is better to my nose. It's just much better built. It's really out there. It's sexy. I'm just going to this fragrance. I'm going to get like lost. <sighs> this is a masterpiece. I would call this a masterpiece, you know. So if you like that one, if you like Grand Soir sort of, if you like By the Fireplace, by Mason Margiela, I'm not saying they're the same, but if you smell them, you're going to find some 
similarities even if you can think of Armani stronger with you this is much more sweeter it has that tonka sweetness it has a freshness it has a gourmand side it has like a chestnut sort of a feel it's very sweet but this is much more playful by the way it's really playful it's very sexy so if you know and love those fragrances and if you want something a little bit more serious you know like you can wear something with your suit you can wear it for professional purpose you can wear it as a signature scent even though juice color is like kind of playful you know but it's a pretty daring scent <laughs> i think most of the people where i'm in the journey i can appreciate it at the first sniff like that but if you just start your journey with your freshy uh, sort of like your fragrances uh, versace purom prada loam and you just love those and you don't want to explore a little bit more perhaps this is not gonna be your cup of tea it's definitely a try um try it definitely sample it you may like it so performance wise that's the bonus it has great performance age for it i think when i sniff it when i sniff it it, it doesn't smell like a very young sort of a soul uh, i mean it says soul but it's i think it's more towards mature men like the note of cardamom it's kind of sexy at the same time is uh like it's it's been utilized in noir extreme lanoui de l'homme you know but uh, this fragrance doesn't look like it's going to be built for clubbing it's going to be more for again bar situation you're going to have a nice drink and you are like a whiskey drinker you know like you do not <laughs> drink cocktails this is more like your straight up whiskeys you know so dudes who smoke cigar and uh, professional guys you know they wear blazers and stuff this is kind of fragrance i imagine they would wear 30s perfect age to wear it um it does have a daring side but at the same time when it comes down to the dry down i think it becomes much more wearable and less daring so a very unique scent you know it's like if you look at the market currently in the designer side niche side you're not gonna find like so many fragrances that smell like this it doesn't smell like another savage clone that's the best part so i really like it uh, but i would not recommend this for everybody okay i would recommend this for people who like that kind of fragrance darker fragrances you know like this is gonna be mostly beautiful in cold weather it's gonna last and last and last right so overall this fragrance longevity i'll give it like 8.5 out of 10 it really lasts a long time projection for two to three hours great projection outdoors beautiful uh, after evening time i recommend you wear it formal would be great if let's say you have a job interview you can wear this if you are gonna meet some clients and stuff you can wear this you're gonna smell beautifully professional okay um compliments wise I mean, I did not wear it enough to get compliments and stuff, but the brother who bought it, he really likes it and he got compliments. So he wore it a little bit, fair bit of it. I think this will pick you up compliments from very educated uh, groups. Okay. So overall, it's a beautiful fragrance. I like it over uh, the costume national arm. I'm going to give this like a, overall, I'm going to give this like nine out of 10. Beautiful, but not quite the masterpiece that to my nose. Noir Amre by Simiak is, but that's just my choice. You can definitely like this over this one. Our noses are different. That's where the beauty of the game lies. So that's my review. Check out uh, Costume National Soul. There are plenty more fragrances in this house. I saw in Fragrantica. I would love to try them. If I do, I will review them. Everybody have a nice day and good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Signing out. Bye bye.